Hi everyone and welcome to your Niagara News headlines for Friday, August the 10th, provided by Bullet News Niagara and ICFAD TV. I'm Andy Sylvester. Let's check in with your local weather to start things off. Tonight, a risk of a thunderstorm and a low of 19 for Saturday showers, a risk of a thunderstorm again, temperatures steady near 20. And just a heads up that a special weather statement from Environment Canada for heavy rain continues as a low pressure system currently over southern Illinois will be tracking to southwestern Ontario today and into Quebec by Saturday morning. Go to weatheroffice.gc.ca for details. Checking into Sunday now, a mix of sun and clouds with a 40% chance of showers a low of 18, a high of 26. Monday, sunny, a low of 17, a high of 28. And for Tuesday, showers, a low of 20, a high of 28. And now to some of your top local headlines. Overseas developers have shown interest in buying the Fort Erie racetrack. Chief Executive Officer for the track, Jim Tebert, says he's actively dealing with two international interests and wouldn't say where they were from, but sources report one is from China and the second from Dubai. Selling the track and convincing any new owner to keep it open is now vital. Otherwise, the 115-year-old facility will more than likely shut down after the current racing season. That fate was largely set in stone in March when the provincial Liberal government announced an end to the slots at racetrack program as part of the 2012 budget. Now to Olympic news, Beamsville native Tanya Verbeek won Canada's fifth silver medal at the London Games yesterday afternoon. Friends and family who gathered at her parents' Grimsby home to watch the match were thrilled for the 34-year-old wrestler. Afterwards, Verbeek told reporters it was a tough match, but she felt good going in and felt like she gave it her everything. The athlete who turns 35 next week has said this will be her last Olympic Games. Japan's Sari Yoshida claimed the gold medal in the match. A 70-year-old St. Catharines woman is in serious but stable condition at a Hamilton hospital as of yesterday after she was struck by a city bus in St. Catharines at about 8.15 a.m. According to police, the driver was traveling northbound on Carlisle Street and turned westbound onto King Street at the same time the victim was crossing King Street in a southbound direction. The woman's name has not been released and the incident is still under investigation. Two St. Catharines residents are facing criminal charges following an investigation by police who received reports about a kitchen renovation company charging for work that was never completed. The NRP started a probe in May on a company called All Canadian Kitchen, which was being operated by two individuals who identified themselves as Annie and Shane White. On Wednesday, members from the Central Fraud Unit arrested two people charged with two counts of fraud over 5,000 and two counts of conspiracy to commit fraud are 37-year-old Shane Burney and 48-year-old Sandra Burney, both of St. Catharines. Now to sports where New York State is seeking advice on keeping the National Football League's bills in Buffalo. New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that Erwin Raj, a nationally recognized professional sports expert with extensive experience in stadium development in the sports industry, will advise the government on its efforts to keep the team where they are. Raj currently serves as a partner with Foley and Lardner LLP and is co-chair of the sports industry team. He has represented and counseled major major sports clients in the past. And now to Rick Van Sickle's Win Wine Picks of the Week. This week he looks at Vineland's Taz Winery, which he says has the golden touch in Niagara at the moment. The winery was named Wine Access Magazine's Winery of the Year for the second year in a row in 2011 and earned 24 medals in the competition, including a record setting six gold medals. The winery also was awarded seven silver and 11 bronze. Now the three selections of wine Rick focuses on this week include Taz Winery Quarry Road Reason 2011, Taz Sketches of Niagara Chardonnay 2010, and Taz Estate David's Block Spark Brute 2009. For the full reviews, please go to bulletnewsniagara.ca. Okay, with that, let's take a break. More news in a moment. Niagara Battery and Tire, with three locations to serve you better. Michelin Hydro Edge Tires for your car or minivan. The value keeps rolling kilometer after kilometer. Niagara Battery and Tire, home of legendary service. Welcome back. While we now shift our focus to Fort Erie and get a behind the scenes glimpse into one of their beautiful tourist destinations, the Clarion Hotel. Let's take a look.
Well, today I'm at the beautiful Clarion Hotel in Fort Erie on Garrison Road. We're going to go inside, take a little tour, and see what this great property has to offer. What makes the Clarion a unique and great property to visit in the Fort Erie area? Well, we have a great uh, we have a great location just being off of a uh, main road, Garrison Road, and being close to the highway, QEW, and close to uh, the Peace Bridge. We have 107 rooms. Uh, we have a restaurant that's open for breakfast and dinner. Um, and a, a, a spa area. Here we are in, a, in our one of our king-size bedded rooms uh, with a nice area of seating, uh, lounge area, and a separate area for a desk and ergonomic chair for anyone who's traveling on business. Uh, all of our rooms are equipped with high-speed wireless internet for anyone traveling with laptops or any other mobile devices. Here we are in one of our rooms with two queen beds. It uh, has a nice spacious area for sitting, uh, as well as a business desk for any business travelers. And this type of room has a room with a microwave as well for anyone traveling that's business that likes to uh, have a snack in their room. Here we are standing in our executive lounge that could be rented out to any group uh, casually or for a meeting. We could put a boardroom table in here. Uh, it also has a little kitchenette where you could use as a servery. Uh, to have a small uh, dinner in here as well. This is just one of our um, meeting rooms that we have and we have a ballroom that also has uh, 3,000 square feet which is great for large conferences uh, or weddings, receptions. And this is one of our other boardrooms uh, which is uh, nice and comfortable as well and uh, our boardrooms are equipped with washrooms, separate washrooms uh, for each one. And here we are in our pool area which has a shallow and deep end. We also have a beautiful whirlpool uh, and his and her change rooms with both having uh, a sauna in each. Also located just outside is a nice deck where people can go outside and enjoy the weather. This is our exercise room which is available for our guests that are staying but also we have outside members that uh, pay monthly fee to use the, the health club uh, and the exercise room. And here I am in the Freelands restaurant here in the hotel. Uh, that's open for breakfast and for dinner for guests or anyone driving by that wants to come in. Um, we seat about 75 people in the restaurant and we also have an outdoor patio that's available where you can enjoy the sun. And this is our, our ballroom which is 3,000 square feet, uh, can accommodate uh, some conferences, meetings, uh, can also be sectioned off into three different sections. Uh, but when it's open fully um, we can do banquets for uh, 180, 200 people for weddings or receptions up to 400 people. Thank you very much, Jonathan, for this wonderful tour of the Clarion. Now, for folks who maybe aren't familiar with the Fort Erie area, what would you say to encourage them to come down and to stay and enjoy? Well, there's lots to do down in Fort Erie, uh, from the racetrack to historic Fort Erie itself, but also down in the south coast, we have, we're close to Sherps and Shores, uh, where there's a beach, Crystal Beach, uh, and Port Colburn. Uh, so there's so much to do down here at, at the South Coast. And that wraps up tonight's newscast from everyone here at Bullet News Niagara at ICFAD TV. Have a great weekend. I'm Annie Sylvester.